Hello everyone. The kitchen here in this house is in need of a complete makeover. Um, yeah, a bit like the old boy running the video. But here's the question, who are you gonna choose when it comes to kitchens? There's the usual suspects, uh, Wren, Howdens, uh, B&Q, Homebase, Wix, etc. Um, so what I'm gonna do is share some of my thinking and some of the problems I had in actually coming to a conclusion and actually placing an order with one of the UK kitchen suppliers. Now, when you log on to these uh, websites, you find uh, they have planning tools, which uh, are quite a challenge when it comes to it. You, um, have the, you have the technology there to help you place your various uh, kitchen units in positions and uh, move them around on these plans until you're totally happy. The only problem I found with that was that uh, it becomes more of a technology challenge in the end. You're struggling with the, um, the tech and if your computer's not uh, the latest up-to-date thing with a fast uh, processor, everything starts bogging down and the whole thing just becomes a tech challenge. So, um, I, I couldn't hack that and in the end I decided no here's what we're going to do I'm sending my drawing in and I'm sending my cutting list and asking for quotes and in fairness um, people responded very well to that and um, we had quotes came back really quickly and um, that was uh, very pleasing uh, home base came back within about 24 hours. Um, Wix, that girl there, she was very nice. She came back uh, next morning, I think, with a whole price list of the, the various components. Obviously, some don't have exactly the same things as each other. Some have only got 300 cupboards and 500, etc., etc. But I've tried to price everything as close as I can uh, so that we get a genuine uh, reflection on what the real price is going to be. Um, I found somebody called DIY Kitchens, which I'd never heard of. They're in Yorkshire, and um, I got bogged down on their planning tool, but in fairness, they responded quite quickly when I sent through my list. I had a phone call to just with one question of what we don't quite understand what this is and they responded pretty quickly. Now these everyday chipboard kitchens come in two options. Flat pack, uh, which when they get delivered don't take any room up, or uh, ready-made carcasses, which you get from people like Howden's, if you can uh, get past their requirement for being a builder. Obviously, for some reasons uh, best known to themselves, they don't want the public's money. They only like to sell their carcasses to builders who they believe are the best people to install kitchens. Uh, the other people who made the ready-made ones are the DIY kitchens. And now the benefit of the DIY kitchens is that they come not only ready-made, but the interiors are color matched to the exteriors, apparently, which is a very nice thing. Uh, most of the ordinary uh, kitchen suppliers, they come with just plain white interiors, which is basically chipboard with a bit of white paper stuck on it, as far as I can tell. Now, the benefit of having ready-made carcasses is, the main benefit, obviously, is, is speed, is time. If you've emptied out your old units, and you've got a hollowed out kitchen and the walls are okay and you're happy with the floor and you've got your services in, the, the plumbing and the electricals, you just walk these new units in and stand them in position, adjust the legs, make sure everything's level and you're halfway there in a matter of hours. Those of us who don't mind uh, knocking together the flat packs, which uh, most of us don't, uh, then it's a, it's a slower process. But the upside is, in my opinion, you can put your, the correct amount of glue in there, you can add 
uh, extra nails, extra fixings, and you can make sure your flat packs are really sturdy items if you do them yourself and you moderately handy in the DIY department. Now when it comes to pricing there's a lot of smoke and mirrors in my opinion and uh, you get this uh, discount situation where you get shown one massive price and then told that uh, fortunately this is its sale week and you can get a lot off that. One example is um, let's have a look let's take Wix for example um, for my cutting list uh, the total price was the list price came out at £6,494 uh, luckily there were some discounts applied which brought it down to a 5.8 but then I was also told that at the end of the month there's going to be a 50% off sale so what starts off at 6.4 goes down to 5.8 and then there's going to be 50% off that which is the thick end of £3,000 uh, so that's that's one example so you kind of have to uh, be able to understand the reality what the real price is um, Let's have a look. This was the home base quote. List price, 5,800. Uh, you get a, a discount of 2,700. So the total payable price was going to be finishing up at 3,100. Uh, I think there was a, it might have been home base who said and if you order today or by the end of tomorrow you get an extra some other amount off so I find it a little bit worrying that you can't actually find out what the real price is until they get you in the shop and make you into their new best friend and then put you in the position where you're going to have to say no to a real person I fitted quite a few um, B&Q kitchens over the years and really if I'm honest what we're looking for here is a way to not have a B&Q kitchen and when it comes to it the convenience of B&Q to be able to just go down the road and pick up some, if something's broken a hinge missing or a plastic leg not working right even a carcass with a dink in it to be able to go down the road within 20 minutes and go and pick up these parts these any replacement parts i think that has a lot of value to me okay they may not have the whizziest kitchens but really they do have a very wide range of uh, choices and um, the only downside you could argue is that they're flat packs they mostly have white interiors which if you've got dark doors you can actually see the white lines of the interiors so you i think there's an option to have uh, colored tape to stick on the edge of the carcass um, but if you're having a pale kitchen i think we're going to probably have a cream or something here the white interiors won't matter so the benefits of B&Q are, in my experience, are price usually and convenience. Now, the DIY kitchens in, in Yorkshire, they come ready-made. Now, it occurred to me that if there's a carcass comes with a dink in it or a bit something damaged, their lead up time is something like a month because they make these kitchens especially for each customer if you've got a problem something doesn't quite work how long is it going to take to get a replacement part that's that was my main concern there with diy kitchens anyway after all the um, website checking and uh, in-store checking and pricing that came down the line to me um, DIY kitchens came up with a price of £3,100 including delivery from Yorkshire of ready-made carcasses, uh, 
color matched inside and with slightly thicker doors than most of the other companies. So there was a lot to like about that, 3,100 pounds. So in the end, with the B&Q quote, we actually added a couple of things. There was a wine rack, which is 30 pounds, wine rack fascia, 58 pounds. There was a glass cupboard door for the uh, wall units, a glass front with a glass shelf inside it. So there was, there were several things extra to the B&Q quote and um, the price came out at £2,834. And if you um, happen to have a trade card or somebody you know does, you get a little bit more discount. I think that discount came out at £400. So the bottom line was B&Q, £2,400 for the whole shooting match. Okay, it's going to come as flat pack. So we're going to take longer to generate the, the kitchen. Um, but if you've got time and you're handy enough on the tool to hammer and the screwdriver, uh, we've, we've gone with the B&Q and um, we'll see how we get on. But uh, I'm confident that having uh, the ability to do the flat packs and the availability of going down the road and picking up any spares uh, it's going to pay off in the end. The next thing you're going to see is when we start taking the kitchen out, putting together the flat packs, how difficult that really is, how long it takes to put one unit together perhaps. If you'd like to leave your comments below on how you chose your kitchen, what you like so much about it, what the sales techniques were like, did the units arrive on time, was there any damage, did you have much many problems in putting together the flat pack. If you'd like to leave those comments, I'd be fascinated to hear how you got on. Thanks so much for watching and uh, stand by to see what happens next.